Hi everyone, my name is Laura and today we're doing a pigment video. So whether you're new to Live the Tooling or like to have a small but mighty pigment set, we put together our top five must-haves. My favorite lip blush pigments are usually warm because pigments tend to heal cooler and I like to give my clients a better long-term result. But regardless, in order to have a highly versatile lip pigment collection, you will need to have these five colors red, pink, orange, nude, and a bolder, darker color. So if we start with red, my number one pigment is Albert Fish Orange Blossom from War Famous Ink. I really love this color since it's a warm red and it can be used on every type of client since you have yellow and orange in its combination. If you tend to have more clients fits one and two, you would wanna go with an option like Queen of Hearts from Ever After Pigment, which is a pure red and it heals better in this clients. Moving on, number two is pink. My most used pink pigment is Passion from Ever After Pigments. It's a slightly cooler pink, but it can be used on its own since it's dark enough and you can warm it up with an orange pigment or you can make it even bolder with a red pigment. My third must-have is Incantation from the same brand, Ever After Pigments. I really like this color since, since it's an inorganic pigment which means it doesn't contain blue or black. So for those clients that really want a nude lip color, it's really nice and safe to use. If you wanna make it a little bit bolder, you can mix Love Spell from Ever After Pigments, and intensify it more. Number four is an orange color that can neutralize dark lips. My absolute favorite and the strongest one is Bora Bora Peach from World Famous Ink. I really like this pigment since it's water-based and it's really highly concentrated. So for those really dark lips, it can really neutralize them and make them look more of a natural nude color. And last but not least, I recommend having a dark bold color. My choice for this is Love Spell, which I mentioned before. This is a cool red violet pigment that can be used on its own on fits one and two, or it can be mixed with lighter pigments to intensify the color. You absolutely don't need a big collection to get good results, especially when you're just starting out. The trick is to understand color theory so you can know how to mix your pigments and get the desired color. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know in the comments what are your top five pigments.